Hi everybody, here's a quick freehand video of uh, spinal cord anatomy in the anatomy lab using the models. Um, so this is a model of the spinal cord. This part here, of course, is the spinal cord. Um, there's gray matter on the inside of the spinal cord, and it has this kind of nifty butterfly appearance to it. And then there's white matter on the outside. One thing to think about functionally with these the white matter of the spinal cord contains myelinated axons, so it's about communication. And what exists in this white matter are columns um, of these axons going up and coming back down, carrying sensory information up towards the brain and carrying motor information down. Um, what other features here? Let's see, on the gray matter, this is the dorsal horn of the gray matter. This is the ventral horn of the gray matter. And if you need to know it, there's a lateral horn of the gray matter. Um, other things I have my students know, this is the dorsal root represented by these wires coming out here. This is a dorsal root ganglion in which mostly at least sensory neurons have their cell bodies in these ganglia. And then these guys coming out here are spinal nerves I said this is the dorsal root, that makes this up here the ventral root, and it's carrying motor information out, by the way. The um, dorsal root is carrying sensory information in, the motor is coming out the uh, ventral root. And again, spinal nerves out here. We see the same thing on this side, just no color on the wires. Here's a dorsal root and here's a ventral root. So then again, again, sensory information coming in on this side, motor information coming out on this side, and there's a spinal nerve. Um, at least for my students, that's all you need to know for the, oh, sorry, there's one other thing here. Number nine is trying to point to it. This model doesn't do an awesome job of it, but there's a central canal here. So this hole in the middle of the spinal cord, um, it contains cerebral spinal fluid, which is flowing downward. Um, that again is the central canal and the gray matter that wraps around the central canal is called the gray commissure the gray commissure let's look at this next model i have in my lab which has some vertebrae attached so we've got the bodies of the vertebrae up here we've got the spinous processes back here um, transverse processes and then there's also ribs attached here so that means that we're looking at a part of the spinal cord that is in the thoracic region if there's ribs attached here. So again there's the spinal cord, um, there are the dorsal horns, the ventral horns, and then lateral horns. Um, they don't even show a central canal here really. I should take a little drill bit and drill a little hole in the center there. But in the middle there would be the gray commissure between the gray matter on each side and it should wrap around the central canal. There's the white matter on the outside, and again, remember, those are columns. I didn't talk about function of gray matter. Um, if I go back over to this one, the gray matter here, the gray matter in the spinal cord or in the brain, you can think of it as having a data processing function. Gray matter in the spinal cord is involved with reflexes as well as um, motor unit recruitment, for example. There are upper motor neurons coming down from the brain that carry information to motor neuron cell bodies in the gray matter and depending on the frequency of action potentials coming down those axons coming from upper motor neurons if the action if the frequency of action potentials is higher then that will recruit more of these motor neurons and therefore activate more motor units that those motor neurons are part of and then again reflexes um, there are sensory neurons bringing in information here and they go to other neurons that carry the information up to the brain but they also can connect to interneurons or directly to motor neurons that trigger a reflex. So the information does go up to the brain, but it can also just go directly out and cause a reaction right then before the brain has time to really process what's happening. Okay, back to this model, other structures you should know. Um, the ventral roots and the dorsal roots are represented as these yellow paintings on the side of the spinal cord there, so those those are the roots. Um, dorsal root on the back side near the spinous processes 
and then ventral roots up here on this side of the spinal cord closer to the um, bodies of the vertebrae. Um, here are the the ventral root coming out, connecting there, and then connecting to a spinal nerve out here. So these guys sticking out are spinal nerves. And then the dorsal side, we do see a dorsal root ganglion there. And then again, connecting to spinal nerves. Um, this structure on the front, these are representing um, part of the autonomic nervous system. Um, and these are these contain mostly um, cell bodies of the sympathetic side of the autonomic nervous systems, and there are ganglia here containing those cell bodies. So we call these the sympathetic ganglia, or the bulges are called sympathetic ganglia, and this collection of them are called sympathetic chains or sympathetic um, trunks. So this would be the right sympathetic trunk and the left sympathetic trunk. Any other structures on here that I didn't mention? Oh, um, this uh, model also has what's known as the epidural space. It's in yellow and blue here, the, the blue are vessels. Um, and again, the yellow, that's the epidural space. It's on top of the um, dura mater. And then the blue, in case you're wondering, that's supposed to represent cerebral spinal fluid. Um, there should also be some arachnoid matter in there, but this model is not really showing it. And then we have pia mater in gray there wrapped around the spinal cord. So the spinal cord has the same three layers of, um, of matter, the same three that wrap around the brain. The meninges, they're called dura mater, arachnoid mater, and pia mater. And at least two of them we can kind of see here. The dura mater would be deep in on the yellow here, and then uh, the pia mater would be here. And the arachnoid mater should be right in there crossing where the cerebral spinal fluid is. Um, again, here's another place where you can see the epidural space. This is usually where I ask for it because um, you've heard of uh, when a lady is giving birth, she might get an epidural. They put the catheter into this epidural space and that's where they deliver the drugs. They don't put the catheter directly into the spinal cord. That would be dangerous. They put it into this space here and the drug then diffuses through into the spinal cord where it has its effect. Okay. I'm talking too much, so let's move on to the next model. This model is um, doing a good job of showing a reflex arc, by the way, um, but it has all the same components. Again, there's gray matter and white matter of the spinal cord. Um, I didn't mention this before, but notice that there's gray matter on the inside of the spinal cord and white matter on the outside, whereas with the brain, there's gray matter on the outside and white matter on the inside. Okay, so the gray matter, again, here's the dorsal horn, and the ventral horn. This particular model doesn't really have lateral horns, although this might be a bit of a lateral horn over here. Um, so again, we've got dorsal horn, we've got ventral horn, we've got central canal represented right there in the middle with that little hole, and we've got the gray commissure represented by the gray matter that's crossing over and around that central canal. Um, out here, um, this motor neuron would initially be part of the ventral root, and then it's going to join in with this spinal nerve out here. The yellow sensory neuron has its cell body in the dorsal root ganglion. So that's a dorsal root ganglion there, and this would therefore be the dorsal um, root. I think that's all the parts I wanted to cover for um, the spinal cord, so let's go through a couple with a quiz. Um, I, I put the brain here just to remind you, this is the other part of the central nervous system, and I guess I could say at the bottom of this brain model, that's the beginning of the spinal cord, and that's a more realistic, it's a little bit large actually, but it's a more realistic view of how big your spinal cord is. It's not that big, is it? Okay, um, so brain back, let's go through some quiz stuff. Let's see. What kind of tissue is here? And the answer to that, of course, is gray matter, right? What kind of tissue is out here? And the answer to that is it's white matter. Um, for lecture material, make sure you know the functional difference between gray matter and white matter as well. Remember, gray matter, data processing, and in terms of its histology, you'll find lots of neuronal cell bodies here and lots of dendrites 
um, and at least the beginnings of axons, and a heck of a lot of synaptic connections um, because that's what data processing is really about. It's communication between those synaptic connections. Okay, anyway, um, for function for the white matter, remember there are columns of white matter, and what we find here is axons wrapped in myelin. Um, so they're sending signals back and forth. They send information up towards the brain, and they bring information from the brain um, down here to do motor functions. All right, other anatomy. What's the bulge out here? If you said dorsal root ganglia or dorsal root ganglion, you are correct. Dorsal root ganglia. There's three that I can see on this model here. What are these guys sticking out the sides? If you said spinal nerves, you are right. Good job. Um, let's get back to the gray matter here. What's this particular part of it? If you said dorsal horn, you are correct. What about up here? If you said ventral horn, you are correct. What about the one sticking out sideways? If you, if you said lateral horn, you are correct. What about this gray matter that goes between the right and left and that wraps around that hole in the middle? If you said gray commissure, you are right. Good job. Um, what's the hole in the middle called? That is central canal. All right, the only thing I haven't asked yet is what do these wires represent back here? And those are dorsal roots. And what do these wires represent up here? If you said ventral roots, you're doing awesome. All right, let's go to the next one and go through just a few just for fun. Um, what are these? yellow thing sticking out sideways here. Those are spinal nerves. Um, and as long as we got this, <clears throat> we've got this model that <clears throat> shows us what down and up is for the human body and what forward is, then we can figure out right and left. This person is now facing you, and I know that because of the body of the vertebrae face forward. So that makes these um, left spinal nerves and on the other side, we have right spinal nerves. Okay. Um, what are these strings of bulges up front here? If you said sympathetic trunks, you're absolutely right. Specifically, on this model, this would be a left sympathetic trunk, and this is a right sympathetic trunk. What are the individual bulges? Those are known as sympathetic ganglia. What's this organ? If you said spinal cord, you are correct. What are these yellow lines on this side? Those are the ventral roots. And the yellow lines on the back side would be dorsal roots. What's this little bulge right here? That is supposed to be a dorsal root ganglion. And I think that's all the parts that I talked about. Now we could do the, the parts of the gray matter again, couldn't we? What about back here? Dorsal horn. What about up here? Ventral horn. And notice that I'm on the left side, so this would be left dorsal horn, left ventral horn. And then what's this one on the side? left lateral horn. Oh, I was forgetting about this. What's this space here? That is the epidural space. Okay, good enough for that model. Let's do this one. Um, what's out here? If you said white matter, you are correct. What's in here? That, of course, is gray matter. Let's name the parts of it. What about up here? Ventral horn. And back here? Dorsal horn, good. What if I were to just put the sticker right here? What is supposed to be here? It's not well represented on this model, but it's supposed to be here. That's supposed to be 
dorsal root. Therefore, this is what? This bulge here. It's a dorsal root ganglion. Up here we would have what? And they're trying to show it here. You can see the little lines. So that's ventral root. And then what would this be? That's one of those spinal nerves. Um, oh, what's the hole in the middle right there? Central canal. And what's the gray matter here that goes between the gray matter on the sides? It's called the gray commissure. Okay, I think I know I've gone at least over all of my objectives. I hope this video has been useful to some of you. Feel free to leave me any questions or anything. And thank you for watching.